Okay, so we're going to talk about how we might graph a logarithmic function. First, I'm going to graph an exponential function. And we're going to just use that 2 to the x because we're kind of used to that one. And so just a quick table of values here. And we'll keep it fairly simple. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Let's go ahead and throw 3 in there. And so you get 1 half. Sorry, can't see the function. Um, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So you could do that table of values. That's an exponential function. We did that before. So negative 1, 1 half. And then you have 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, and then 3, 8. And so it's going like, oops, it's going like that pretty much. And remember, you have a horizontal asymptote right here. Okay. So now we're going to look at the function g of x equals log base 2 of x. Well, we're not going to leave it that way to graph it. We're going to change it to y equals log base 2 of x. And then we're going to um, rewrite it 2 to the y equals x. And that's what we're going to graph. Now, what's happened is you've switched the x and y, right? Like that we know they're inverses, but that's what's happened. And so I can take this table and switch the x and y's. So it's going to be 1 half, 0, I'm sorry, not a 0, a 1, 1, 2, 4, 8, and then I'll just scroll up a little bit here. And then on the other side, you're going to have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so let's see what that looks, looks like when we graph it. Now, the tricky thing on this is you have to remember it's x, y. So I'm going to go over a half and down 1. So right there, 1, 0 would be right here. 2, 1 would be right there. And 4, 2, and then 8, 3. So can you see those little points in black? If we graph it, it's going like that. Notice that there's a vertical asymptote then on the y-axis. Okay? If you think about the diagonal line, and if you were to fold it, it's symmetric. Um, the orange function, the f of x, and the g of x, like you, they're symmetric about that dotted line. Um, that's what inverses do. Okay, so when we graph, uh, we change our logarithmic function to this form, and we choose y values as opposed to x values. Now, um, in the next video, we'll talk about the characteristics of this, these logarithmic graphs, and then we'll give you some more examples of how to graph.